September what twenty twenty third? September twentieth, nineteen eighty two. This is Grandma Heitman on my left. Hello, Grandma. What? You say something? No, I didn't say. You want me to? What do you want me to say? Here's an old worn out sea hag that went through I don't know how many depressions. I'd have an awful time telling all of them. That's all our life ever was, was depressions until Grandpa had been the forging company about 20 years. Go ahead, talk. It's fine. Well, it's going. I, I can't talk unless somebody asks me Well, a okay, your questions here are, where did you live during the Depression? Well, I take it you mean the one that was when we were in Lansing, Michigan. No, here. Oh, okay. here. Well, in 1929, you were here in 1929. 20, of course, 21. So it would be Endicott, New York, then. Oh, yes, that I couldn't say that we were as bad off as we were the one in Michigan before that. Uh, did you have a job? No. All right, let's see. Uh, what was an average supper like? Well... I'd have to think a while. I'd have to make up on the menu that we were quite familiar with. It was not steak, I'm sure of that. Some ordinary meat. Of course, a lot of times it was German potato salad. Or once in a while it was German meat rolls. Because we were used to eating them and liked them. And then round steak was practically nothing, you know, compared to what it is now. Oh, it was... It was as cheap a meat as you could buy because it was all meat and no waste. All, no bone or anything in it. It was really as cheap as any meat you could buy. Hmm. Uh, did you ever go hungry? No, I can't say that I did. I could, I could always find something to satisfy my hunger. My appetite was never big enough, so that there was much danger of that. Okay. Uh, were you ever ashamed to leave your home? To leave it? No, I can't say that. Well, what, why would you be ashamed? I, I don't know. Uh, Unless you were dressed so I, I guess it would be that question was designed for people that might not have had enough to buy nice clothes. Might or, have been. Because uh, the, the other, if you said yes, the question was why, but since you well, said I no. Well, I didn't have any nice clothes, but I always had clothes that were decent enough to go out in mm -hmm. and clean and pressed and so on. Okay, the next question is what did you do for relaxation? Well, mainly Grandpa and I played cards. I don't know what the kids did for relaxation. I we guess they just kept pool. on playing and swimming in the river and in the boats down there. Uncle Bill and Bill Work were down there one day in a boat. Somebody, people used to keep boats tied along that shore. Oh, really? Well, yeah, when they were kids. And Bill Work, for some reason or other, got mad and he pushed Bill in the river. <laughs> I was really quite a scare. Well, this is getting... <laughs> It's getting pretty, pretty well off. Well, we'll, we'll go in the other room yeah. so you won't have to listen to it then. Did you ever go on vacation? Oh, yes, we went every year. Grandpa had to go somewhere, usually fishing. <laughs> no, no. He rented some little cheap cottage and we, we all went there. That was our vacation. We used to go up, what was that point way up there in the in the Finger Lakes where we used to go. Oh, Finger Lakes. Well, you know, up in there somewhere northeast. So here. Is, no, that's on Lake Ontario. Oh, it's oh, some, you mean a Nida Lake? On a Nida Lake? I don't think it was on a Nida. I think it was up on one of the other lakes, the way I remember. We, it, we didn't cost us much, and we took our groceries along. And I was the keep sh cook and dishwasher, of course. <laughs> uh, what financial losses did you or your family suffer? Well, we lost our house in Michigan, 
you see, we had moved here still owning a house, or, I mean, having a partial payment on it. And we paid by the month when we lived in it. And when we moved here, uh, we, of course, we couldn't sell the place. We did sell it to one man, and he handed us a fancy story for a long time. He kept writing pitiful letters, crybaby letters, and begging us to let the payments go a few months until he could catch up, because work was so bad there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we were soft-hearted and let the payments go a few months. And I think the way he figured it, when he got where he was pretty even with us, he was all right, you know, paying that much. It was paid like a rent. Mm -hmm. He felt he was pretty even, then he wrote to us and told us he couldn't keep the house anymore that the payments were too big. What are you going out? What are so you going, we lost the house and what we had in it. Mm-hmm. Dick is asking her some questions about the... I don't know how much it was. I used to know, but I don't know anymore. It's for for a school project, Dad, to ask, to get her to answer some questions. Won't take very long. Uh, what did you spend your money on? <laughs> Food, mainly, and rent. I would think so. Well, you see, Dad wasn't so bad off because Mr. Kilday, although that depression did hit everybody else pretty tough, badly, he had them work different shifts, you know. He'd have one bunch work like one week and maybe one bunch the next week. So they all had a little money coming in, enough to keep them eating, mm -hmm. at least. He carried them through that way, and he's cool. I don't think he really lost any money on it, but he certainly didn't make any either. Mm -hmm. Who was the best-known politician? Oh, gee, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to think. I wasn't acquainted with any politicians. Who would have been Hoover? You think Hoover would have been the most best known? Oh, he might have been. I don't know. Who was president then? Hoover was president. Well, he got all the blame for all that happened. Of course, it was other men before him that had brought it about. And, well, that might be the next question. Who was the most unpopular political figure? That's pretty un un I don't know because I don't remember back that far. I'd have to do a lot of thinking or go into reading a lot or something to know who was the most unpopular. Let's see, Roosevelt hadn't come on the scene yet, no. had he? No. I really don't know. Okay. To state, frankly, that anybody was. Okay, what? Did you feel caused the depression? How you felt at that time? I don't know whether I thought that much. I was so busy trying to keep make ends meet and, and get enough for my kids to eat and wear. I really don't. I don't think I had a, an answer to that. That a certain person caused it. I don't think a certain person ever caused. Well, it didn't say who. It said wh what was the cause. Well, I don't know as people think that much, the working people that are very busy trying to make a living. I don't know as they sit down and figure out who they think is to blame for things like that. Mm -hmm. I know we didn't, or I didn't. Mm -hmm. And I never heard Dad talk that way. In fact, all he was was always just to go from place to place. So he didn't worry much about why it was happening, no, just how he didn't, you... He'd, he'd throw everything to the four winds he would have here if he dared, cause I, but I told him when we came here, I was through moving. If he moved and changed jobs anymore, he was going to do it by himself. And so he didn't dare. He oh. did work over in Elmira a very few weeks because he got in a fight with Mr. Kelday, you know, an argument, and got mad and quit and went over there a few weeks. Mm -hmm. But then he came back, Mr. Kilday wanted him back. He was good in the job, but it was just that he was stubborn and bullheaded about it. He thought that he he could do things his way if he didn't stop to think that Mr. Kilday owned the place and furnished the money to do those things, and that he ought to cater to him a little. Mm -hmm. 
what illness or disease was the most feared at that time? Oh dear, I don't know. So I'd be able to probably infantile paralysis on account of the kids. Uh huh. That's and that time they didn't know measles was so dangerous. Oh, okay. That small smallpox. And then what was your worst experience that you can remember of the Depression? Well, it was probably losing that house in Michigan entirely. And all the money we paid into it. We would made monthly payments Mr. just Bank like we did on this one, Ben, or, and uh, to lose it entirely, it hurt. The money was in the bank out there. But you see, all the banks in Michigan pretty near all of them closed, and you, everybody that had money in them lost their money. Oh, I see. So you, it was you got some back in a few years when they got things straightened out a little, but that was probably it. And what was your best experience? That the best you, what? The best experience you can remember from those times. Oh, I don't know. I I'd have to think, but I think quite a lot. What could it have been? <laughs> I don't remember anything awful good myself. There must have been a best one, though, somewhere. Let's see. Oh, gee. I just don't know what to say. It's all so jumbled up in all those days in your mind. You couldn't pick any one thing out anywhere unless it was a real terrible disaster, I guess, to be the only thing you could pick out. You know, we didn't have any of those real terrible disasters. We were just poor and, and get nothing all the time. Regular thing for us. I guess... Uh all the children had been born by then, and there were none that oh, had yes, married by then. they were born then. before we came to Endicott, you know, before there, 19... And I guess none here. of them graduated at, by then. They they were just in their... We were in high school. In high school, or, or not quite. Uh, in 28, uh, 19, Bill when wouldn't did you have say, been in high school yet, would he? When did you say? 1929. Oh, yes. Well, I don't know. I what, what year did you do graduate, Dorothy? 32. 32. Oh, well, she hadn't graduated yet, but Fred no doubt had because he was about three years ahead of her. Mm hmm Well, that would have been about the time of his graduation then, I guess. Well, I was feeling bad about him not going to college, and I still feel bad about it. Yeah. I wish oh, I many, many a time that you I'd had the go. guts to have fought Grandpa about it. He thought he just, we just couldn't send him to college, and everybody agreed that he was college material, everybody that ever met him in school or anywhere. And I wanted him to go, but we didn't have the money and didn't know where we'd get it, unless we, if we could have borrowed it, though. I, always felt bad. I think we d I didn't insist on it and borrow it and have him go. Mm -hmm. Because maybe he'd had a different life. Maybe he'd have, it would have changed the course of his life and he'd have met somebody that was different. Well, September what twenty twenty-third? September twentieth, nineteen eighty-two. Mm -hmm. This is Grandma Heitman on my left. Hello, Grandma. What? You say something? No, I didn't say. Do you want me to? What do you want?